At the beginning of the game, the dealer prepares the cards by roughly shuffling them. The dealers must exclude a card which is not a number, except the ace card. The rest of the cards, including the ace card, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, are included to the game. After that, the dealer starting on the player to his right distributes two cards face down to each player. The players are allowed to pick on their respective hands. Hands that have a total of 9 are called naturals. For example, a hand that has 2 of spades and 7 of hearts has a total of 9. The hand is therefore called a natural. If a player gets a natural, he should immediately show his hand to the dealer. The dealer then announces the total and the hand is placed in front of the player. If the dealer does not have a natural, the player who have a natural card wins. However, if the dealer also has a natural, it is considered a standoff or a tie and both of them wins. Therefore, if the player has a natural and no other player has a natural, the player who have it wins. If all of the players doesn't have a what we call natural card, all of them can favorably choose to hit and at the time, the bunker will distribute another one card for each player. If a certain situation happen, like for example, if your first two cards have a total of 5 and the third card you draw is the 7 of diamonds, your hand total becomes 12. Since the hand exceeds 9 and our game is called lucky 9, which means your goal must have a total of 9 if you will add the numbers in your cards. The value is adjusted by subtracting 10 from the total. Therefore, if you will get a total of 12 when you add all of your numbers in your card, what will happen is that your hand value is reduced to 2. The total of each of the player's hand is compared to all of the player's hand. If the total of a certain player's hand is closer to 9 than the other player's, then the certain player wins. However, if another player's hand is closer to 9 than the certain player, that player will win. If that certain player and one of the player has the same hand total, it is considered a standoff or a tie and both of them win. As you can see, our flowchart starts with the display and the input of the player's name and display the player's names afterward. Next is the formulas for the distribution of cards and then the conditioning statements for the computer player's here function. After the conditional statement, the flow proceeds to the display of the comparison of the player's final card and the computer's final card to identify the winner. As you can see, this is the pseudo code for our program. Our program is a simplified version of the card game called Lucky 9. In our version of Lucky 9, we still apply the basic rules such as card privacy, the hear it part, and lastly the entertainment provided by the game. Inside the program, we use different data types and methods such as int, array, scanner, and j option panes, and also conditioning statements such as if and else. First, we declared our variables of our scanner and the database of our cards. Next is we ask for the player's name and display it afterwards. Then, for the formula, we use the math random plus to pick number that represents the card randomly inside the array. Then, added the two values then provided an if statement that condition if the sum of the values is greater than 9, then it will reset the number to 0. Same goes with the computer player. And for the here functionality, we also use the math random plus to pick another random card inside the array. Then, we added the sum of the two random values and the hit card from the player's card. Same goes with the computer player's card. And lastly, we compare the player's card and the computer's card and identify the winner. <laughs>